When you have a big decision to make, who do you talk to? Whose advice are you looking for when you've got a big decision to make in your life? You know, are there, are there people that immediately come to mind that you think, oh, if I had a big decision to make in my life, I'd, I'd ask this person or I'd ask this person or these three people or, you know, I'd get this little group of people together my best friends, they've been my best friends my whole life, and I'd ask them, you know, whose advice would you be looking for? Very often, where we do have big decisions to make, uh, we ask just about everyone who knows just about nothing about just about anything what they think we should do, which is, a mistake of uh, colossal proportions. Not that these people are not good, and not that they don't love you, not that they're not interested in you. Uh, they're simply unqualified to help you answer the question that you're trying to answer. They, they, they lack the knowledge, they lack the context, they lack the history necessary to really help you make the decision that you need to make. Which is why God's given you this voice within you, this, this calm, gentle, but firm voice within you which we call conscience, to help you make decisions. And I can't think of a time where I did what my conscience was encouraging me to do and I ever ended up regretting that. can't think of a time in my whole life. I do have regrets, you know. I think there are, there are some people who say, oh, I, I, I don't have any regrets, you know, because if, if that wouldn't have happened, well, I wouldn't have been the person I am today. And it, that might be a good, healthy way to look at it, but you know, I do have regrets in my life, and in all of those situations, I went against my conscience. In every single one of those situations, it's not that I didn't know what the right thing to do was. I ignored the right thing to do. It's not that I couldn't hear my conscience it's not that my conscience wasn't saying, Matthew, whoa, put on the brakes. It's not that my conscience wasn't saying, Matthew, you're in dangerous territory here. It was. I ignored it. Why? Maybe because it was just too hard, you know? Maybe because it just required too much effort. Maybe because I just wasn't in the mood. Or maybe because I just was being selfish or lazy or whatever else. But that's beside the point. You want to live an authentic life? Start listening to your conscience. Stop listening to so many other people. Start listening to the voice of conscience in your life. Because you know what, that quiet voice of conscience, that gentle, quiet, firm voice of conscience, the more you listen to it, the stronger it gets. The more you obey it, the more you live with it, the more you partner with it, collaborate with it, the stronger it gets. And the stronger it gets, the easier it is to hear. And the stronger it gets and the more you live by what it 
directs you in, the more confident you become in listening to it. And the more you listen to it, the more authentic your life will be. And that's an incredible thing. To live an authentic life, to know you're living an authentic life, to know that you're doing your best. Not that you're perfect, but to know that you are working very, very hard to live an authentic life is an amazing thing and is, it, it's a reward unto itself. Did you know that 71% of the people that watch Matthew Kelly's videos are not subscribers? That makes no sense. We need to change that. Subscribe today. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and turn on those notifications so you never miss out on another great video ever again.